Hi. It's Wednesday, so we're baking. <laughs> This week we're making candy pretzel rods. They're one of my favorite snacks to have um, around the holidays and you can customize them to fit whatever occasion, if it's a birthday party or Christmas or Halloween. Um, so we're going to start with a pot of water on the stove. Um, you want to bring that to a boil with another pot inside and we're going to take our melting wafers. Um, these are Ghirardelli white melting wafers. Um, you can also use chocolate um, wafers and you're going to place them in your bowl, in your makeshift double boiler on the stove if you have a real double boiler even better. It doesn't take long for them to melt at all. And just use your silicone spurtle to keep all the chocolate down near the bottom. And as you can see, you just have simmering water underneath. That's melted. We're ready for the next step. Now we're going to take some of that chocolate that we just melted on the stove. And we're going to add it to a cup. We're going to work with one color at a time and keep the rest of that white chocolate on the um, warm pot just to keep it soft. We're going to add a little bit of food coloring to this. That's the right color. Now that we have our white chocolate melted and colored, we have orange here, um, we're going to dip our pretzels in the chocolate. I like to use cups um, with a straight side because you can really get your pretzel coated nicely with minimal waste. After you coat your pretzel in the chocolate, you just gently roll and tap it in your toppings that you've laid out. I'm using orange sprinkles for our orange chocolate. You can put some on the front as well. Once it's covered nicely, you're going to put two little monster eyes on there. I like to use one medium and one small for an extra silly look. I have two baking sheets that I'm working with. One has our toppings in such a way that it's really easy to roll your pretzel sticks in these toppings. And then our second baking sheet is going to be for cooling our pretzel sticks. You can see we've got a silicone mat in the center of the baking sheet and it keeps them from sticking um, while they cool. Now we're going to add another little bit of our chocolate that's melted. And I'm going to use one drop of blue and a drop of red. These silicone spurtles are really nice for mixing. Something like this, you can really scrape the sides of your bowl or your cup nicely. And you can see, even with the red, food dye that we used here. They don't stain at all. We're 
Okay, it's a bar pretzel and a purple melted chocolate. Just get about the top third of the pretzel coated. And we're going to roll this in purple sugar crystals. This is such a pretty one. And place your eyes on it. This is a great kitchen activity for kids to do with you. Um, it can be silly and fun and messy. It doesn't have to be perfect to look great in the end. While your pretzels are cooling and hardening, if you'd like something a little more ambitious, um, or if you have an older child in the kitchen who's maybe helping you and they want to do more, um, you can always make accessories with powdered sugar and water. I've used 60 grams of powdered sugar or a half cup. And I've mixed it with a teaspoon of water. And we're just making this sort of paste that we can mold with our fingers. It's going to be a little dry at first, but keep in mind that when you add a drop of food coloring to it, it's going to soften it up a little more. All right, so this is what it looks like. Um, it's easy to mold, roll between your fingers, and shape. So I'm going to take a piece of this, and I'm going to add it to this cup, and I'd really like some purple horns, so... I'm going to add a tiny bit of blue and a tiny bit of red to this. And I'll use a spurtle to kind of fold that food coloring into this powdered sugar paste. Okay, so this is nice and folded in. And what we've got now is a paste that we can shape into little accessories. And then we're going to use a tiny dot of melted chocolate to affix them to the pretzels. They're heavy enough that they'll kind of fall off while the chocolate is wet. I've got a little bit of white chocolate that's melted on my spurtle here. Spurtle here. And you'll see I'm just sort of dipping it in that white chocolate and gluing the horn on. And then it just needs to cool and harden. I'm gonna make some orange horns. Then we'll mix this up. The silicone spurtles make really quick work of this job. They're soft, they're easy to hold, and I love them.